and gluten intolerance. Uh, it's a, a lot of people are saying I'm gluten intolerant or I have celiac and some people are saying no you don't, that's just in your head. So I want to ask an expert here on what is the difference between the two and is it in people's heads or are these really things that are affecting people Yes. Profoundly? So in general, my feeling is that when a person feels unwell, you have a real problem. And so I would never say that a condition like somebody feeling that they can't tolerate gluten is in their head. But what I will say is that celiac disease is kind of a, a recognized medical condition. It's an autoimmune disease where the lining of the gut sheds in response to exposure to gluten. And that has been, the, the incidence of celiac disease has been rising over the years. And alongside it, many people are now being diagnosed with gluten intolerance. So because these numbers are going up so much, some people say, what's going on? Is this a fad? Is this maybe just something mm -hmm. like, you know, the Atkins diet or that we're all saying now we're going to cut Or they want to lose weight so right. they don't want to eat any bread exactly. or... Exactly. Yeah. And I, I think it's safe to say that things have changed in the way in which we grow wheat. So the wheat itself is very different and it's possible that there could be something having to do with that wheat, the new kind of wheat that we're eating so much of now that is triggering a reaction in us. Our bodies are starting to see it as a foreign substance that we can't tolerate in some people. So I would say if people feel better eating less wheat, go for it, there's no harm done. And certainly for people that have been diagnosed with celiac disease, it is the most important thing they can do to avoid gluten because there are other complications like lymphomas and very serious yeah. diseases if a child is repeatedly exposed to gluten. Do you eat breads and we do, and we bake breads at home that are gluten-free. So, so they're all, but do you just bake gluten-free breads? Uh, at home we do. Yeah. When I go out, I'll eat a slice of bread. I'm not gluten intolerant. Right. And I have two chil other children who really love a good homemade slice of bread or a slice of bread outside. So I make gluten-free bread at home. So, so what, how do you make gluten-free bread? Out of rice flour? You can make it with rice flour. There are tons of other flours, sorghum flour, um, teff flour and amaranth, these are all grains that used to be part of our diet that have fallen out of favor because the emphasis has been on wheat and corn.